strange trip. Dave's dreams were on the cusp of coming true. Uploading his songs to YouTube, SoundCloud, and TikTok earned him a job in San Francisco working in Steven Savage's Savage Studios as a studio musician. That would open the door to connections and maybe some actual studio time instead of his makeshift studio, which consisted of his Scarlet 2i2 audio interface and his laptop crammed into his closet. His job started in a week. Being of limited means, Dave decided to see this beautiful country the old fashioned way, with a thumb and a prayer. He threw a few belongings into a bag, slung his guitar over his shoulder, and left his apartment in Manassas, Virginia. Dave's first day was slow. He only made it to Berkeley Springs in neighboring West Virginia, about two hours as the car drives. It wasn't time to panic yet, but 100 miles per day was not going to get Dave to his new job on time. Day two was worse. He made it another 50 miles where he slept at a bus stop in Bedford, Pennsylvania. 150 miles down in two days, 2,673 to go with five days left. He was in Monroeville, Pennsylvania, where he finally met his savior. Dave was sticking out his thumb on the corner of Williamsburg Drive and Old William Penn Highway when a black 1956 Volkswagen Westfalia camper pulled up. Black was not its natural color, but it looked right with the fire-breathing unicorn painted on the side. It was the most beautiful thing Dave had ever seen. The door opened and smoke poured out. What is your destination? San Francisco. You're in luck. We share the same destination. Ride home, bro. Dave did most of the talking, but the music was rocking and the weed was free. The driver, who never bothered to give Dave his name, wore a hood for the entire trip. But Dave was used to weird dudes and didn't expect anything else from the guy driving this Volkswagen. The pair took turns driving and napping. They freshened up in gas station bathrooms and refueled with gas station food and coffee, about half of which they purchased. Time flew by. In only three or four days, Dave wasn't sure. His phone died a day or two ago. They were there. He made it with at least a day to spare. He could go to his new apartment, take a much needed shower, and get at least one good night's sleep before reporting to work on Monday. The camper stopped. Dave tried to open the door, but there was no handle. Hey man, where's the handle? Are we in Frisco? Let me out, man. That is not the ride you were on, David. Your journey ended on the corner of Williamsburg Drive and Old William Penn Highway in Monroeville, Pennsylvania. This is your final destination. Charlie. Charlie, 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 Charlie. 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 Delightful. Charlie.